Have a limited company and wondering what corporation tax is all about? Well, in this video, I run you through the basics. As a business accountant, my team and I spent all day long helping business owners on their journey. And of course, a common topic is that of corporation tax. Now, all corporation tax is, is the company's tax bill. That's it, it's as simple as that really. And in this video, I'm gonna run you through all the need to know information. And at the end, I'm gonna to touch on how you can reduce that tax bill. Now, of course, during all these videos we do on this channel, we're interested in small business. So we're not talking about multinationals or these large businesses, we're talking about small owner managed business, which is the majority of the people that we deal with. Now, before I get deep into this, if you like these type of videos, be sure to click the subscribe button below so you get notified whenever we release another one. So let's get into it. What is corporation tax? Well, first off, as I said, I think that's a good place to start and it's the company's tax bill. It's as simple as that. We as individuals pay personal tax and without boring you with all the tax law that's there, let's just call it the company's tax. There's a set of law that surrounds this and that's it. So it's calculated on a company corporation corporation tax return. So there's normally a set of accounts that the accountant generally will do in full to a particular type of accounting standards and figures from that get translated into a corporation tax return. That's the company's tax return. Both go together electronically to the tax people. And that's a full set of accounts that shows like your turnover and it shows all your costs and your, everything that goes into that really to come back to the tax bill. Because sometimes accounting profit is different to the taxable profit you actually pay tax on. So the two are sort of one and the same but with various adjustments and they come out with a tax bill and that's what your accountant will give you. But that's in essence what corporation tax is. Now in terms of how it's payable, normally for a small business it's due nine months and one year after the accounting period ends. Now let's not get too technical with this because most of the time it's going to run with your year end so you're going to trade for the year and then it's going to give you nine months and a day to pay it. So if you imagine if your year ends the 31st of March you're going to have to the 1st of January the following year to pay your corporation tax bill. Now the only reason I mention accounting period is sometimes in the first year you might have a thing where you get two returns or there can be you've changed a year end or something like that and it can change the corporation tax date. But just to keep it simple, just think nine months and a day for the majority of people out there. In terms of how much is due, well it depends on the year and what they've set as the rate. So currently we're enjoying quite a low rate of corporation tax here in the UK. So as we're recording this video in 2020, the corporation tax is currently 19% of your profits. So if you imagine all your sales and everything come in, all your costs come off, and then for whatever you're allowed for tax reasons gives you a profit, and that profit has 19% applied to it, and that's your tax bill. Now, it was in previous years that what would happen is you'd have a, uh, like a large company would pay a different amount to a small company. There was two separate rates, and all they did over the years is make that rate one. So it, there's no real difference at the moment. Whether we see a return to that at a later date, who knows, but at the minute that's where we're at. And it was actually gonna go down to 17% just before coronavirus and everything else that happened this year. So so just to give you some sort of idea, it does change and it's worth keeping an eye on the news to see how that can affect you. And I'm sure if you've got a decent accountant, they'll be telling you when that when that occurs. But right now it's quite a low rate. Well, then maybe that's a time you can't actually pay your bill. And that's okay. There's what they call a time to pay service. I think a lot of people use this during the coronavirus pandemic to delay their payments, but actually it was available all the time anyway. And you could just phone up, uh, let them know you are in a bit of trouble, you can't pay it. And generally, if you've got good reasons and you satisfied their criteria, they'd give you time to pay. You know, you can have like 12 month arrangements on direct debit and it will come out. So if you do get to that point and you don't have enough to pay it, then that's an option. What I would say though for me is it's really critical to plan your tax all year. Because as a limited company, because the money's not yours, you should have that tax money in theory sort of sitting in the account. Now, depending on the style of business you are, sometimes that's not actually physically possible because you're owed money from people and all the rest of it. So it can look okay on paper, like you should in theory have the money to pay it, but you've not necessarily got the cash. But just giving you some idea, you should be able to have that there. So for me, it's really important to work with an accountant that can make sure that you know where you are sort of every quarter or something like that so that you've got an understanding. Now, that isn't the norm. That's something I know we do and are passionate about, but I think you need some sort of understanding. Also, some of the cloud softwares can give you an indication of what's going on or just some up-to-date figures you could at least take the up-to-date figures and go 19% so you could see you know what you think roughly where you are even if it's not completely as accurate as it would be if an accountant looked at it but uh, get that feeling and make sure that you're planning for it but if you can't ultimately there is a way to do that and there is penalties and interest and the like for not paying it but normally if you've got a time to pay arrangement they're fairly minimal so just bear that in mind so in terms of how you actually pay it well the cheapest and easiest and HMRC's preferred method is that you pay it online via your online banking so there's a specific reference you use and of course in 
our job every day, we see someone that does get this wrong. So bear in mind to make sure you're paying the right people with the right reference. Often if revenue and customs have sent you a slip to pay a, a letter saying this is your tax, it will have a number on it. But normally your accountant will be supplying that with you. And actually the, the reference number changes each year for your accounting period. So just keep an eye on that reference, make sure you pay it to the right pace. Now to finish off, I wanna talk about how you could potentially reduce this tax bill. Now, if you've heard me speak on this subject or followed us on social media, you'll know that I massively believe that tax is a success fee. It's something that is a, it's a good problem to have because it means you're doing well. Um, but I do believe in paying the absolute right amount that you can pay legally. In the UK, we have this thing where people in employment pay the right amount of tax generally. I know there's the odd one of you will be like, well, that's not true in this case, but generally you pay the right amount of tax. It's very straightforward. As a self-employed person or as a business owner of a limited company, you've got so much tax to contend with. You've got no hope unless you're getting the right advice and knowledge. So, uh, and that's where we stand is making sure that legally you're using everything you can to make sure you're paying the right amount of tax, which is normally less than what you would pay if you just did it yourself. So from that sense, um, knowledge is absolutely key. And what you've got here, of course, is you've got a YouTube channel full of tips and bits and pieces, which is great. Um, you can, if you've got an accountant, see what they put out in terms of uh, news and tips and things like that. Make sure you're involved. We've obviously got a newsletter, a podcast and all the rest of it, so you can get some tips there. But generally try and surround yourself with knowledge. Knowledge of what you can do, because accountants, even good accountants, accountants can't be in your head all the time is really, really important. Outside of that, keeping good records is the most important thing. So I know it sounds really, really boring and it's kind of obvious that you need to keep good records, but the amount of times people miss tax deductions because they're not keeping their receipts. They've paid something cash out of their pockets and then when they come around to writing up their books, they've actually, or these days not writing them physically, but electronically, um, they've lost that tax deduction because they've actually forgot they even bought that uh, cup of coffee or that bit of stationery from the shop when they're out and about. So bear that in mind, good records and good knowledge. And of course there are a ton of opportunities for reducing tax in a limited company so please do do your research and that's it so until the next one we'll see you then